Stevie Wonder on a bridge of that song? That is Stevie Wonder's song. That's 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 Stevie Wonder's song. That's
Well, back then, an <laughs> artist was a real important job. So if they did have pictures, it was a nigga drawing them. Right, exactly. Right, true. But the, you know what I'm but saying? the artists didn't draw none of their blemishes, none of them crow's feet yeah. around their eyes. Oh, no, they didn't put none of that in the painting. Why, Why would they? they? How, Why wouldn't they? How much? Pussy, not if they put the wine in that book, how much paper would the artist <laughs> have to use? <laughs> Construction paper. <laughs> that that nigga be, like be a whole <laughs> chapter <laughs> on the side. That should be like a no limit ad in a source. The <laughs> one's in the middle. It's a fold out. It's a fold out. <laughs> it's a fold out. <laughs> Craig looking like a Christmas ornament. Fuck yeah, nigga. <laughs> oh, oh. Merry Christmas. Rub a bum bum. Rub a bum bum. What kind of work do you think you would have been doing besides slavery back then, Duncan? Like, 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 after you went in the house, what was the rest of your day like? like. I don't work in the fields. I'm an accountant for Jack, okay? I don't do this nigga work, man. I would have fled to the north. (laughs) (laughs) Got some freedom. I don't know, though. I'm tired of pulling my papers out. I'm free, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) No, I look like the rest of these niggas. <laughs> Nigga, if you don't get your ass back down the street, believe me, I got my master pass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, if uh, if you if you was a free black man during slavery, how would you have found a wife? Would you have bought a slave from a woman, or would you have went and found a woman that's always been free? Gotta buy a slave. They grateful. <laughs> hey, that's slavery, true. nigga. Uh, wow. Yeah, oh, hey, you the man the rest of your life. Now yeah, you know you what they live. say though. Yeah. You know sometimes. You can you can rescue a dog, man, and feed him, and it'll get healthy enough just to bite you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now imagine, yeah. imagine, yeah. imagine, imagine picking that slave, and then slaves yeah. call slaves she, dogs. She, <laughs> she, she, yeah. she become the worst bitch ever. You know what? That's, I never uh, thought about that. I don't want no them? slave bitch because her work ethic gonna be too good. <laughs> 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 bitch, you already up. The yeah. House is already. You, it ain't nothing to complain about. <laughs> Yeah, like and you can't break her down because she'd already been broke yeah, down. Yeah, 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 it I ain't nothing that. you could do to her. She's been whooped and <laughs> raped, yeah. and it ain't nothing you could do to hurt her. We know Harry Tubman don't fuck with yeah. niggas yeah. like that. Harry Tubman was a stud, my nigga. Harry Tubman. She was married twice, man. No. Come on. She, she, ro- she rode horses with no panties on, my nigga. She was a stud. <laughs> no. Grimy. Could you imagine that what the back of that? Dish. Could you imagine what the back of that horse smelled like after she rode to freedom? <laughs> All time, oh, man. Oh. She rode the freedom. Oh. Look at that, that horse was like, as fuck. That's why. That's All why them dark niggas don't like you, mulatto motherfuckers, Craig. Uh, Shit like this. Yeah. I'm fucking oh, with man. you, man. <laughs> Look at that horse hated her, nigga. Uh, uh, nigga, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't wearing panties. Slaves don't wear panties, bro. <laughs> Ain't nobody said, hold on, man, this slavery. Let me put some panties on it. Participate in this slavery they were, shit. They wear britches. <laughs> no, man. They wear britches. I read somewhere that the, they didn't even let the boys wear male clothes. The, uh, the, they put them in dresses. They wore dresses until they were like 15, 16 years old. They 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 degender slaves. They degender slaves. Right. They didn't they didn't they didn't respect your gender when you were a slave. They didn't. Man, you just get what they got. Huh? I'm like well, I'm I'm not good enough to have a wife that was a slave. You feel what I'm saying? I'm a, I, I just, I'm going on the fact that she was already trained and obedient. Like somebody that uh, didn't work then, already. And if she if she get out of line, you know what I'm saying? What master number? Is this right. Wow. <laughs> Let's go oh. back to master. Oh. <laughs> oh. Does she want to go back to master? Oh. <laughs> 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait. No. no like I'm building the house next door to remind <laughs> you where you came from, bitch. <laughs> 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 But you free, but that can change real fast, Harry. <laughs> oh, I'll sell, sell you back, bitch. Man, you better pick up them <laughs> drawers and pick that cut. Oh, you want to go back to Mr. Wilson's land? Huh? Yo, she not Say gonna, again. She not going to get out of line. She's going to be the most disciplined woman you ever dated in your life, bro. She probably ain't going to make no mistakes, none of that shit. Yeah, you until feel she what I'm saying? Re- That's why until, I like that. Until she, she realized she gonna make that you ain't cracking the whip like master. Right. Yeah. That's how it go. You don't know how to crack the whip. 
you ain't gonna get she gonna slowly loosen up. Damn. I could have seen her one day that. going upside the back of Todd's head, knocking that fan. <laughs> <down. laughs> <laughs> 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 knocking that head, man. I wouldn't want to. I didn't hit no play with me because I feel bad. Type brother I am, I wouldn't want to raise my voice at her. She done been through enough. She got a lot of trauma. That's your problem. I got family that bought that bought that bought people out of slavery, man, and married them. Yeah. Wow. I, I, yeah, in the 1800s. <laughs> wow. They were, yeah, yeah I out there. I, <laughs> the, official, the official record is some of my family owned slaves. That's that's the official record. That but man. that's what they're doing is buying, buying a chick that got captured. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. buying them, because in Virginia, my family's in Virginia up to 1830. And it was free black people all around. But as white folks would come in and stuff like that, it was like they would have night riders. And white folks that especially that made their money off capturing free black people right. and selling them off into slavery. Right. But my family had oh. bread, so they bought some of that family back. So <laughs> the, the official record shows own slaves, but nah, them motherfuckers got kidnapped. That nigga, Yo, said, they had, I got, that nigga said they had Kit and David Hasselhoff. Yo. They <laughs> 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 stole a Camaro? <laughs> hey, look, I got, a fuck, shot, I got the most fucked up question <laughs> ever. Is, was slavery the blueprint for discipline? No. no. Nah. Well, I think about it. Yeah, we was but I'm saying we discipline our kids the same. But that way. wasn't the first. Oh, thing. Oh, when we discipline our kids now. I'm saying from us is that where we get it from? Yes. You know, or a switch? You always got your or, ass or whooped or in the black. Yeah, kind of or a switch? History, nigga. There's been ass whoopings right. Right. throughout history, bro. The switches. The switch. In Africa, they teach accountability. Yeah, they not playing. So they shit. used to have a uh, coming of age ceremonies. Yeah. They they take you to the wilderness and say, "Nigga, find your way back. You got a week." Yeah. <laughs> you feel? I mean, that yeah, ain't week. nothing. That, it's a week to give back. Because I don't know. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to discipline goes in, in Caucasian households or any other wh- household. But do they get the belt like we get? It? Of course. No. Hell yeah. No. Do you think no. they get the belt like we get? No, they get punishment. We, we, no. The, the, the worst of black society is, is shit that, that we learn from them motherfuckers. A lot of that. Right. You know, when it comes to how we run our households, right. the ones who went through slavery, there is a contribution of slavery when it comes to us whipping our kids. But that, that has some part to play with it. But I'm sure niggas was whooping kids before that. It, de- it depended on, really depended on, like, no. every, we, we, we not with a hegemonic group. Some niggas do this, some niggas do that. But so I'm pretty sure do, some niggas whooping ass before slavery and the other ones that didn't. Niggas do, but I'm saying in the white household, I don't see them saying, go, I'm going to go get that belt to their son or daughter if they in a white household. You know what I'm saying? Like nah. they was telling us. You don't see shit in the white household. You know what I mean? This. Think about Where did time out come from? We when, didn't have that shit. That came when, from the 90s. When is a whooping ever really <laughs> necessary? When is physically abusing your child ever necessary? And, and, and when it does happen, okay. whose fault is it? I got, I got one. I got okay. one. The homie, my, my nigga Brian, uh-huh. when he was young, I lived downtown Long Beach at this time. So Talk to the mic, Toby. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I lived downtown Long Beach at this time. So, you know what I'm saying? He came through with a brand new Dino GT. Ooh, nigga Dino. had the, Ooh, nigga had the yeah. new Dion's on. They just yeah, came buddy. out. Nigga, the turfs. That motherfuckers was right. fresh. We nigga. talking about nine, nine, nigga, one. We, we drove, we rolled our bikes down to Sherline Village and bought pizza, nigga, and kicked it with all the white people and went to the arcade, nigga. We got back to the crib around 6 o'clock, nigga. That nigga mama and uncle was waiting in that goddamn living room. Uh-huh. This nigga stole his mama rent money. Oh. Ooh. Went and bought a Dino GT. <laughs> ass whooping. <laughs> ass whooping. Wow. Oh, that's ass whooping. Bar shoes. Time ass whooping. No, no. And came over there, and came over there, nigga, and then was like, so what you got to say for yourself? That nigga was like, nigga. Ass, ass whooping. <laughs> you know what wow. I'm saying? I, you wouldn't give me no money. I did what I had to do. Right. Oh, that's uh-huh. ass whooping. So, 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 so I'm asking you now. Is that does that warn ass? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Elaborate, Blaze. I, I, th- I thought I was gonna get an ass whooping. I didn't. I, I didn't even I, know nothing. Been with him. I was yeah. I was nigga. My nigga. I was. I, I was so scared when I came in there. I'm like, what? Yeah, but right. nigga, Listen. Dick Doug and that Doug six eight. Nigga, two ninety. I got a thirteen I'm year old son, right. right? And I couldn't imagine my thirteen year old son taking that pile of money and doing that for two reasons. One. You know, you know, we we communicate enough to where he sh- he know better. He don't really have to go that route. But all kids, you know, they they fuck up. Yeah. But two, to take some money that's for the house, he know he's a part of the house, and I share that with him. You know, his role is real minor, but but it's still a role. He's a young boy to be a man, and that's where the torch going. So I explain all that. So so he have a different sense of what he do as far as the house, and he gonna play some bullshit. He might yeah. lie to me about how long he stayed up or yeah. how many hours he put on that game. Yeah. But to, but to go to the house, he wouldn't do that because he, already, he you know he'll feel a sense of 
You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he taking some of those. But it's only one thing that's the difference between you and the homie and the homie Brian. You talking to your son, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure I know right. that the nigga daddy wasn't around to say shit to him. So yeah. it's like right. that that conversation wasn't really had with him. So right. and that and that aspect where that nigga already can cause I ain't gonna say you the mama, you the uncle. You you duh, you coming with the yo yo your sister. Right. And he didn't need this nigga. And he don't ain't like he scared of you. He not scared of you like nigga, whatever ass whooping y'all finna give me, I'm gonna take. Cause right. I had fun. Right. I think the truth is in the middle of what y'all saying. I think the truth is in the middle, like the what reality is in the middle of what y'all are saying. Yeah. In his situation, well, he, he didn't have no he didn't, he didn't have nobody to communicate with him, so he went and did all that. So the ass whoop was necessary because they didn't do the pre work to communicate to him. That's what I'm Blaze saying. raising your kid to the point to where he, he yo your, your child yeah. see he would never do nothing like that because yeah, of the way you mentality. if you communicate with him first yeah. and put that groundwork down first, you won't have to whoop their ass. Hear what he said about the other dude, he was ready for whatever, whatever ass whooping you got, whatever. So that's another issue. To me, whooping his ass, he already prepared for that. He finna mentally block out, black out, and tomorrow gonna be a new I day. I got a sake well, mouth, I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fire on the nigga. He, nigga, he, he really you need to be set down. Because you were right. just fresh when you left the house, though. He need to be, re- <laughs> he need to at be the reconditioned, nigga, he retrained. Shoes and right. shit. You're like, nigga, hold on. Yeah. But why would you want to make a, a boy submissive by beating on him? Right. No, that's yeah, what that but does. Because that's just, it's misguided. Like it's, it's not it's not about being submissive. It's about consequences. See, I, I young kids without without consequences and not knowing your mama is always gonna be a quick whipping. I'm going back to the to the shit. I'm talking about <laughs> real consequences. Like nigga, you getting your ass whooped and nigga, your whole month is done. Matter of fact, your whole year. It's right. planned from now on, nigga. You're right. not doing nothing. So that's what I mean by discipline. Not just a whooping and then, nigga, now what? I beat you. Yeah. Just because you yeah. just, nah. You getting a whooping. Now I'm going to talk to you about why I whooped your ass. I'm going to explain to you right. why you got in trouble and why there's consequences, son. But if you took a, if you get a little older and you take somebody else's money, that ain't your, that ain't, that ain't daddy, that ain't mommy. Mm-hmm. Right. They going to kill you, fam. They right. ain't going to come and want to fight. That's still I'm going to tell you what my grandma was saying back, back in the day. So you got to say this with if you, you got to raise these young niggas young, so when they grow up, you ain't got to get the bitch nigga out of them. Right. 19, 20, you ain't want to fight you now. Put them in boxing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll yeah, yeah. work. My yeah. thing yeah. is, boxing is my question. pain is temporary. Gain is forever. Yeah. <laughs> so if I want my little nigga to gain some ground and perspective, right. me punching on him, that ain't going to do nothing but lead a nigga motherfucking uh, rattle. Yeah. Punching yeah. on him, yeah. Yeah. Punch yeah. on him yeah. without yeah. no dialogue, definitely. Right. Right. That's it, no, because like, we got to remember what, what our grandparents. in a regular society. Right. Yeah, period. If, if somebody wrong you, I just can't go be. It's a few niggas that I really want right now. Yeah, right. definitely. And if it was the rules was different, I would be at their doorstep <laughs> right now. I'll, I'll take but it I a can't. step further. Uh, that it's, 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 you it's can't say nothing months. around Todd. Oh, uh, Todd, crazy. Come on, Todd. Tony Terry over there. No, I'm just. Well, I would enjoy beating up on him if I could. If I could do it and get away with it, it would make me a lesser man. And it would put me at the mercy of the prison system. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. But that's yeah. bigger nigga. Everybody in here got size except Ty. Yeah. Right? True, <laughs> true. So I can't just run up on niggas, bro. Right. Yeah, right. but see, you got to explain your son to this too, though. Some niggas don't care about going to jail. So it's going to be a lot of niggas you dealing with, especially if you st- around niggas, you stealing niggas money. Here's the thing. I'd rather you know my son shoot a nigga and sell, like, be prepared that way in self-defense than be out there fighting all the time. No, no, right. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this. I'm saying... If you do something to some a man, right? There's not gonna be a oh, a let's talk about this. It's not gonna go. It's not gonna go down like that. We already know that. That's right. not realistic. You know what I'm saying? So, to teach responsibility in your son, especially with dealing with other men, hey, bro, if you do this, I'm your daddy, so I'm not gonna take it there with you. But some niggas is gonna not care. They're not gonna tell you, oh, you was wrong, homie. Right, right, they right. They just finna. And that's what I'm saying. But look, but jump up and stop the shit out of your son. And that's now what he gonna become a bitch nigga. Oh look, now I gotta kill these niggas because I was wrong and I got discipline. Most niggas who yeah. fight all man? the time ain't got shit going on in life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, no, so no, period, no. point blank. So, yeah, if fight. you want to fight me, and I don't want to fight you, like I'm not aware. Like if 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 you want to fight me and it's a worthy thing, I should I should in my mind have in my mind that I'm about to get in a fight. Right, right. But if you showing up to fight me and I'm not even 
the, the thing that is making you want to fight me is not even registering in my brain on the level it's registering on your brain. Right. I'm at a disadvantage if I do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. sure. In every situation, yeah, yeah, I got to do what I'm going to do. Right. So I will, put, I will give my son the right weapon skills and the right hand skills because if a nigga shows up to fight you, son, and you really have no idea why he wants to fight you, what else is he prepared to do to you that you don't yeah, know yeah. about? Yes, so yeah. I got to go yeah, to the I'm, extreme I'm off that. top. Right. Yeah, I agree with nigga, that. Nigga, back right. up. Nigga, if you want to fight, it's going to be on my terms, yeah. nigga. I agree right. with that. I'm, I'm not going to, because you might have a knife yeah. on you. It might be some uh. niggas around the corner. I'm not just about to jump in the ring because you want to. Yeah, right. Right. yeah but that's right. not what Real I'm saying. Son. I'm saying if your son is wronging people, like we I'm going over yeah. the, the example of him stealing money from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And the first then that's not checked, because you stealing money from your mama, nigga. Yeah, that need to be. Yeah, yeah that that's something. That's, that's something that, that got to be checked. checked. Yeah. Like you yeah. cannot, we cannot, we cannot. Like it has to be an extreme situation where like this right. is very serious, bro. Right. But if you, she if was you, my calling the police and shit, my mom was like, nah, fuck all that, no, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, because they try to probably put if, it on you. Your son is yeah, 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 my yeah. son. Like, oh, <laughs> where was Doug before we stole the money, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Doug, hey. why wasn't Doug here, bitch? Why couldn't Doug hey. give me 10? Hey. If your 15-year-old is stealing from you, it's because you didn't do the work when the kid was five. That's five. all I'm saying. Right. And so what, what, what I'm trying to say is that when it, when it comes to whoopings, we got to bring back context to it. Like, times change. Whoopings were big in Jim Crow because I remember my, my grandmother used to always say the whoopings were popular back then because they said, I'm going to whoop you so them white folks don't get to you. But in Jim Crow, mom and dad was working in them fields 12 hours a day, so they, they didn't communicate. Oh, Uncle John Henry didn't talk to kids. Yeah. Them niggas whooped. It's a different day now. It's different laws now. After right. 1990, you whoop, you going to jail. So forget, it's, it's, it's a different poverty, society we're in right now. Poverty has been criminalized. Yeah. So anything that you do to survive within an impoverished situation, whether it's mind state or actual fi finances, there's a law to scrape you. Right. If you get too hungry and got to steal, there's a law. If you fire on a nigga, there's a law. If you hang out too much, they got vagrant laws. Mm -hmm. There's laws, nigga. You just Everything. can't do what you, you know what I'm saying? Right. That's, and that's, Very and that's, true. And that's, and that's what Very I mean point. about telling little kids that young. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that 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 situation is warranted yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like there's consequences the work, for yeah. niggas doing shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So he need, you need to understand on a micro level, not just on uh, nigga. I'm being your apparent level. That's in life, period, nigga. Right. There's going to be consequences for everything you do. These are small. Getting a whooping, going back outside, and I'm, me telling you all that, that's small shit. It seemed like it was big to us, but as, as a father, I'm not, I'm not, it's just not, it's not that, bro. If, if I'm telling you right now, if I let my son do what the fuck he and just talk to him all the time, and just, and not like put a, a fear in him, like, look, bro, stop playing. Right. He not going to stop playing. He going to treat me like he treat his mom. Right. Or you just talking. Right, right. Because yeah. that's how little boys are. We going right. to test, nigga. And right. they going to stop listening. I can't listening. wait till he get 13 and really try to, you know what I mean, buck up. Because I, 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 I got another one I had to check that with. Because I know it's going to happen. Right. I did it. Right. Y'all did it. Y'all did it. Nigga, that, you, nigga, I got socked in the stomach and dropped that. So, ass, wait. So, Blaze. Yeah. Hey. He did, and, it, did he have the same uh, background as you? Who? Your son. My, my first or no? Right. No, so, no, not, so, no. so, so that's what I'm saying. If the same thing is happening, there's something going on upstairs because whatever happened okay, then. Bro, that's it, yeah. it, that's so, but you so know what I feel like? I'm talking I, about men. No, we all, we all, everybody's not going to be on the same ment 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 mental playing level. Like, we're not all going to think the same way. Right. right. It's like how our yeah. temperaments are. Right. Some niggas is rah-rah, some niggas is cool, but they, I'm saying, this, this, yeah. that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm saying, because I know niggas that's cool that are, you go here fast. Yeah. But uh, you can't fight so, your no, way. No, I'm not talking about fight. I'm talking you, about just, just. Dealing with consequences. Yeah. I, I'm going to say this to you, and I'm willing to, nigga, whatever happens, happens. So but right. we're talking about teaching a young man how to deal with a trap, right? Yeah. There's a trap everywhere. You can't fight your way out the trap. Yeah. Nigga, no matter how much an animal struggles to get out the trap, the motherfucker just cut deeper and deeper and deeper. You got to relax and think. That should be the right. first. Right. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. No, no, no. Because, no, no. right. you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, okay, if the discipline involves physicality, then it's, we shouldn't mistake activity for progress. We shouldn't we shouldn't teach a nigga by him doing this. No, no, we should make we should put that. the nigga in a ring or in a situation where he gotta put his dukes up and defend the move he made. Yeah. Not just get his ass whooped, but okay, this is what you want to do. I respect it. Right. Now you now you're gonna have to right. defend that. You right. gonna, as a man, you gotta defend whatever yeah. position you take. So that. put your dukes up, nigga. Yeah. Right. You know, cause niggas whoop they I'm talking about males in particular. Right. Yeah. Niggas whoop their sons and 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 in a, and put them in a position where they're not doing nothing back. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. this is combat. Life is combat. Yeah, yeah, so if this is what My you want to do, defend yeah. it. Yeah. 
Some <laughs> party and boxing I, does work. They're not throwing no like gloves on me. Hey, yeah. I, I got I, whooping I, like a motherfucker, and it puts <laughs> it puts parameters on certain shit. There's certain shit that I did not fuck with. I didn't fuck with no gangs. I didn't fuck with no drugs. I didn't fuck with no stealing because my pops didn't play that. That would get me beat probably in the hospital type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it let me know where the boundaries is at. But everything else, I'm going to push. Right. Yeah. Because that, that's how he was. He pushed the envelope. I'm going to push the envelope. So, Blaze, <laughs> uh, hypothetically, if your son were to, with the, all the training you've given him, he decided to steal one of your cars to go hang out with a girl. I did that. And he wrecks the car. Uh-huh. I did that. What discipline would you give your son? Uh, we got we, we to gotta sit down and have a, 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 a real stern talk about what took place, you know what I'm saying, what's involved in that. We're going to we're gonna have to break down where he went wrong, and, I mean, he slashed me, you know what I'm saying, what what what, what do I got going on that you didn't respect that enough or you didn't know what that meant to me or what that means to us as a unit, you know. Hey, so, B. So, you know, I got, I got work to do at that time. I feel like, though, sometimes you could talk to kids and sometimes you can't. Because um, at the same time, kids' attention span is not as long as we as we want it to be. You feel what I'm saying? So you could talk to a kid, but they'll lose they'll they'll lose they'll lose interest. You, you feel what try I'm saying? Harder. Especially if the kid know my pun they know patterns. So especially if the kid know when I get home, I could do this shit and my dad only gonna talk to me. Right, I can go right. steal this car, my dad gonna talk to me. Right. I could disrespect this nigga, my dad gonna talk to me. Right. Well, guess what? This nigga ain't gonna talk to you. Right. Like he said, this nigga coming. I mean, some things. You can't you can't talk to them about, but other things got to be escalated because the police, uh-huh. them niggas ain't playing. They ain't trying to hear nothing you gotta say. Let My dad been telling me to talk. These niggas ain't letting me say nothing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Let me so it, it to you <laughs> like this. Yeah. You know who the king of patterns is? What's that? Women. They yeah. are the best people to pay attention to patterns. And you get one, you got one, you love one. She's not gonna always. She's gonna take some of your words, and she's gonna take it lightly. She's gonna say, "Oh, Snap's just gonna talk to me. He gonna tell me to stop hanging." And she might slip, and she might go do something. Mm. And I just hope that whatever she does, you don't feel like you gotta escalate. Put your hands up. That's not the oh, same thing. We talking about kids. Oh, that's a woman. <laughs> now snap the bitch. <laughs> even, uh, even animals are bite a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Part of nature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm almost want to go with the one and the same, man. Cause sometimes, you know, sometimes I almost feel like a kid with this monkey business and shit she be on. You know what right. I'm saying? But, but, but yeah, you're right. But snap. Even with that, if a child isn't listening, it's a breakdown in the communication. If they don't respect your word to the point where they're gonna do what they want to do anyway, right. it's something they see about how you moving throughout your life that makes exactly. them not respect you. Right. It comes down if you if you're constantly having to talk to a kid and they and, you, and they live in your house. And they constantly doing something else. You, the parent has to check themselves because yeah, right. I've I've worked with hundreds of kids, and every single time I've run across a lot of them disrespectful little bastards. Yeah. <laughs> but every single time, every time the parent you. had a part about had a major part of their life that wasn't respectable, right. and the kids saw that pattern and was like, "Oh, it's you talking." But they still yeah. make mistakes, though. Yeah. That's it's not about making like, a mistake. It's a pattern yeah. of mistakes yeah, yeah. to where that's a character flaw yeah. that the parent and then and has to address. Yeah, yeah. And oftentimes, my, my, my hardest work working with kids was dealing with the parents in the cafeteria, these character flaws, oh. and did not want to hear it. Well, they yeah. kept going back to the kid. What a kid this, what a kid that. Yeah. Well, they learned that foolishness <laughs> from you, nigga. I, I think we, we, we also got to look at uh, social things with kids, too, because a lot of – Behaviors are learned, not in your house. They're, they're, they're you're influenced by exactly, it. Yeah, exactly. Especially nowadays with social media, bro, that, it's crazy. That goes with That's the so, so exactly. but, but even though, but I'm saying you can watch your kids 24 seven, bro. Some shit you're not gonna stop them from hearing. No, my mama, because they tried to keep watching. me in church and they tried to keep me away from all the bullshit. I'm telling you, I was in the YPWW. All the, you know what I'm saying? I was in all yeah. the youth yeah. programs, you, but. You was a junior dickin'. I can see it on yeah, your face. Yeah, I was. I was. Nigga, hey, I was. God. Don't, 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 <laughs> I didn't think about that as an adult. Like, that's some bullshit. Oh, but yeah, man. like, social influence are, 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 are large on a kid, and we can't, we cannot underestimate that. I know, because we feel like, okay, well, when I say something, I'm daddy, but that's the homies. 
Like that, that, that's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a different it's type reality of reality and it's perception. Man, yeah, you know? exactly. That should have played itself out. You know what I'm saying? And, it's if you make a, and if you make an honest mistake, like Snaps was saying, and, and, and they just, they will get that lesson out in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as long as you walk straight, they always got, they always got something to compare it to. They always got a line on. They can, all, now they can put it in context. Yeah. This is the shit Papa Snaps was talking about. And some, hey. some kids are just going to be rebellious to certain things. That's why, like, well, the major parent I get from a lot of, the major question I get from a lot of parents, they don't use these words, but this is basically what they're saying. How can I be an ain't shit person but raise good kids? Right. And you right, can't. Because right. you yeah, your kids possible. are like watching how you move, not what you say. Right. But here's the and, but, thing. And, and you'll fuck up, they'll fuck up. But, right. you know, if it's a, if it's a one-off, that's cool. But if it's a pattern. You got to mingle with the people your son or daughter going to be around that's without true. your kids around. Period. My dad, where I grew up at, my dad, big weed smoker. I was the only one that felt like on the block that didn't smoke. Yeah. Niggas would be smoking with my dad. Sometimes they'd come knock on the door to hang with pops. Niggas that I was my everyday niggas. <laughs> and my pops is a G nigga. <laughs> and he would lay out there, like he would lay shit out to niggas. Like, hey man, I know I can't stop my son, but he, from doing whatever he gonna do, but just make sure if y'all get into something, keep that nigga out of it. Yeah. Right. He was like, he would hold niggas accountable. Uh -huh. right. he be, so you can't not be involved in the lives of the people your kids spend time with. Right. That's true. Yeah, that's I, I got an aunt. I got yeah. an aunt who did the same thing. It's I, I, I forgot what it's called. Like you control the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Like her, she, uh, her kids. You know, she, they, we smoke. They smoke weed a lot. You feel what I'm saying? But her kids, they were still younger, or whatever, whatever. She told them, you know what I mean? I know y'all out here doing it anyway, but I would rather y'all come here and do it. Come downstairs so that way. I know who who the fuck you hanging around. Right. You know what I mean? As opposed to you leaving here, going out there, catching some shit that you don't know, or somebody lacing a blunt, or you don't, you know what I mean? Fucking with all these people, mm -hmm. and I don't know who the fuck it is you fucking with. You know what I mean? Bring them little niggas here so I can see each and every one of these niggas here. You feel what I'm saying? Right. But it was just a, it was just her controlling the area. Right. So, you know what one, mean? so if something so go foul, I know who the fuck to go holler at. So if one little saying? niggas overdose, they overdose in my house. No, I'm not talking about that. That's community. It won't happen at somebody's house. But that's that's the truth. She said, "I'm gonna snap." Let's snap. Let's snap. But that's she said, "I'm gonna snap." That's how that's how we were. That's how we in black neighborhoods. That's how it was traditionally before. You know, before everything got messed up with our with our community, right. it was always somebody's house that people can go to. Right. To right. Uh, you, you, I, I was watching a, a, a documentary with Louis Armstrong, right. and he had a house in the neighborhood that he can go to if he didn't play his if his trumpet didn't bring enough money that day, he can get some food. Oh, yeah. And that's how we've always been as a people, going back to Jim Crow, long before all this yeah. welfare and shit. Mother. Yeah, that's that was the mother. It was always a mother yeah. in the neighborhood. Uh, he ain't talking about food. He talking about somebody facilitating some shenanigans. All that. <laughs> All that. And your parents and knew mystery. where to find you at. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we didn't have no social media. The parents know exactly. Oh, let me. He over at this house. Let me call the mom. Yo, so and so over there. Tell him to have his ass home. You feel what I'm saying? Man, they know there's five houses they gonna call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So gonna be in one of these five. One of these houses they gonna be here. If not, your ass is in trouble. In trouble, yeah. boy, nigga. What, what you got for us, Ty? Section man, former NBA star man, Agent Zero. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. He spent all his rookie check before he even played, uh, got on the court. He spent the whole check. He was out there sleeping at the arena and everything. Mm -hmm. He spent mm -hmm. uh, eight hundred forty-five thousand before stepping foot on the NBA court. On, he was out on there what? Spending. On what? Man, he bought a, he bought a car. He bought some jewels. He was out there trying to be like the the fly motherfucker. That nigga was stupid. Yep. <laughs> he was out there and then was sleep at the arena. <laughs> it happens, man. Like in the league, they kind of get put up in a messed up situation because when they when they about to get drafted, you got all these people saying, "I got a line of credit for you." They get these lines of credits that get them from from the end of college to the beginning of the NBA season. They get told you're going to be a top ten pick, but if you get drafted thirtieth or fortieth, that check ain't going to be the same. And on top of that, you don't get all your money. You get paid every first and fifteenth like regular ass jobs, yeah, and you get them taxes taken out your shit too. I mean, he was big spinning though. He wasn't just out there. He bought an Escalade with four TVs in it. Like, yeah. He was out there. He was out there. But that's, that's sixty thousand yeah, dollars. That's stupid shit. You yeah. usually would be able. To he can't even watch all them TVs. But I'm saying, but that's a, but okay. You, you're then when you're in a certain environment, you can expect people are going to spend to the level of their environment, and so you can, you can see that. But when you get paid every two weeks, but you think you about to get this one big massive ass check, right. a lot of these niggas be in debt their first three seasons. For real, for real. That nigga spins. I was watching one on his podcast, and one of them niggas said that 
when his teammates said he pulled up with his new Lambo, thinking that it was fire and all that type of shit. They said that uh, uh, Arena saw that shit, came the next day and had five of them shit. Yeah, five the of, this nigga <laughs> came flossing one. This nigga showed up with five of, yeah, five of them problem. in different colors. Yeah. That's just telling how much money a nigga spend money. You feel what I'm saying? He's a narcissist. They got a training on that? Like when you get to the NBA? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have a training, problem. but... On how to spend? You have a training, but a lot of these dudes don't follow their own mind. You will see one of them with a, with a girl, and the ne- next day a nigga bring a girl to look just like her. I remember when I was at, uh, at the Clippers, I remember one player had gotten, I'm not going to say his name, he had gotten a matte blue uh, Bentley. Former Diddy. Uh, no, nah, this, this later on. <laughs> Lloyd Vaughn. Come on, yeah, Lloyd Vaughn. Tony, <laughs> Man, <laughs> Tony Massenburg came the next day. <laughs> Poo Richardson. This is that 2011 <laughs> team, nigga. Eric Martin. <laughs> it was, this is that 2011 team. Oh, Smith. Yeah, Smith. L.O. Bimbo. second time around. Bimbo. Bimbo. Some nigga had like a, ha- some nigga had like a Harper. blue. Ron Hart. Hollywood Hart. <laughs> Some nigga had a matte blue uh, Bentley GT. The next day, another nigga got a, a matte red Bentley blue, a Bentley GT. And it was just like, you niggas don't think for yourselves. It's a competition like a motherfucker. I mean, I mean, you do that too, Dewan, whenever. If I come with a cheesecake, you gonna come with a cheesecake. If I come with a burger, you gonna come with a burger. <laughs> if I come with some regular clothes, you gonna wear that bullshit. So <laughs> stop lying right now. I, I got a question for you. Look Olive. like a donkey doctor. Hey, the way, the, the What's wrong with this ass? <laughs> Turn around. The ass I wanna see an ass. I have a question for you, Otto. Roach veterinarian. <laughs> Otto got <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Roach vet? <laughs> 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 Auto you got the, um, the zippers on the side of your boots. Exactly. They, they down right now, but what, what's the occasion when you zip them up? Like prom or something? Ready <laughs> for business. <laughs> uh, some nigger killers. <laughs> yeah. All formal <laughs> events. <laughs> you should put, low key, you should put some taps on the bottom of the motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Respect the He bought them shoes off Alex Jones' website. Uh, yeah. Hey, Dewan has delicious <laughs> thoughts. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> like everything looks yummy. Like how do you? <laughs> I don't want delicious coming out of Otto's mouth in reference to me at all. <laughs> your thoughts taste good. I don't want to hear that from Otto, man. <laughs> that, 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 that. I don't want to hear that from Otto at all, nigga. Otto got bussy thoughts. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think in the wrong angle on that. <laughs> yeah, Gilbert Arenas, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's not the only. NBA rookie that does that type of stuff. Oh yeah, Shaq said something like that too. No rookies. No, Shaq actually was responsible. No, no, he said his first check. He said his his first check. Million dollars in one day. He said. Yeah. Yeah. But Shaq still hasn't spent an NBA check. His first check. Yeah. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, he said that. Shaq has not spent one, no NBA money. He lives off all his endorsement money. And they got about fifteen endorsements. Hey, Shaq, kick some niggas down. I'll let your Craig fact family, my nigga. Yeah, man. Put us in the commercial, Shaq. Come on, Shaq. Come on, Shaq. <laughs> but you know what's cool about that? Oh, Big Aristotle. What? You know what's cool about that? And the same thing with Gilbert Arenas. It's okay. If it happens the first time, I'm not going to say it's okay, but when you're young, I, I see it. You're 19, 20, you do some dumb shit. The problem is if you're 30 and you're in your 10th year in the league, you're still doing that same shit. If you're doing it at that point, nigga, you just done. But by then, you can afford it, though. By well, then. Now you can't. You're still a trip. You know I mean? You're going to be done making money in three years. You got 60 more years to live after that. Nobody no. whooped Gilbert Arenas when he spent all his money as a rookie, and he ended up pulling yeah, the gun on his teammates. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he said nobody whooped him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, That's a good point. You said it didn't happen like that. Yeah. You're lying. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Rookie I just man. The virus is crazy. Uh, <laughs> that nigga crazy. has life in prison right now, bro. Z- Z- oh, yeah. He killed the motherfucker. What? Yeah. Hey, I remember he was working out during a lockout with that ankle brace on uh, <laughs> up at UCLA. Oh, was it? When he, when he, when he, had, when he had gotten out, the oh, UCLA summer bad. workouts at the uh, during the... Uh, he was up there hooping with the ankle bracelet on, tearing Ricky Rubio up. He was killing him. He was killing that nigga, too. He was a rookie. Man, that shit's crazy. He could have such a great player. Yeah. He could have. Critten did, yeah. He's an all-star caliber talent. Yeah. He just never could put it together. He knew how to control pace. He could That's shoot. Yeah. Like you know, he was a point guard for Dwight Howard and uh, Smith in high school. Oh, was he? Dwight Howard was the lefty Smith. Josh Smith? Josh Smith and him was all on oh, the same Josh high school Smith team. Smith was a boost oh, in Atlanta. Yeah. That's yeah. Just bang back there. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, they just hey, yeah. Oh, that team. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah, know he was going to do that. I didn't know he was going to do that. We fucked around and uh, 
We fucking around and all get rich tomorrow, man. One of you, two of you niggas gonna be living above your means, man. Oh, yeah, but I ain't gonna finish. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna finish. 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 I'm gonna
it was him, his brother. He got a cousin from Oakland. This nigga used to keep a pistol in his dreads. Oh, my goodness. Oh, All right. Cool, cool nigga. I forget his name. Locked for sure. Booby solid in the motherfucker. They good niggas. So it's me, Booby, his cousin, my boy, Sean, Jesus. who's a camera dude, maybe two other people. It was a total of about seven, eight dudes. It's about 30 bitches. The nigga had, look, the nigga had like three, four Sprinter vans. Hit me, him, and the dudes was all in one van, and we had three more vans with all bitches. Yeah. All the bitches was with him. <laughs> <laughs> we get to the suite, all the bitches go in the room with that nigga. Oh, oh, nah, you gotta leave with some bitches. Yeah, but like all the, every one. bitch. He Every single bitch. Huh? He could leave one van for y'all. Every bitch that was in the motherfucking Man. Sprinter vans slept in the room with him. And they went so we game. literally had to leave and go knock bitches and bring them back. The bitches that came with us <laughs> was all with him. That's a for and sure. he spent Thank about you. 60, 70 grand that weekend. Oof. I watched 30 live myself. Like, okay, that's 30,000. That motherfucker just, <laughs> that's 30. Yeah, you can look at the bottles like, okay. So, yeah, man. Damn. You can't ask a nigga for money when he balling out like that. How did you feel when they all went in the room with him? Did you like, oh, y'all want to hear some jokes or something? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you feel no way. I still, be running, I still be running into some of these broads, though. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I can't say nothing, but did they be hugging? I'm like, I, bitch, I know what you about. <laughs> <laughs> you was in that Sprinter van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know what I mean. You was in that Sprinter van. Yeah, man, would you mind loaning me $200? Oh, baby, you see it? Go ahead. Peel it right off. So it yeah. is always interesting to see how these NBA groupies aged out as they get into their forties. The ones right. that ain't married, it's always right. just funny to see them on this side of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Moses Malone's hoochie bitch. What are you doing now? They think they still there. Though. Some of them bitches, man. They can't tell you Thirty-five. What's your next topic, Todd? Oh man, so. We got the Showtime uh, series coming out on HBO, right? What? You magic. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lakers shit going oh, down. Oh, it's Showtime yeah. HBO? Okay, yeah, Magic. Okay, yeah. Showtime. It's called, it's yeah, called yeah, Showtime, yeah. nigga. It's not called Showtime. Okay, yeah, I see. okay, okay, whatever. It's definitely weird. not. I'm looking at it. It says, <laughs> I didn't know he could read. I didn't know he could read. And had I knew that, I would have hit my phone. Had you read it. <laughs> hey, he could have played. It's on the Showtime Lakers. It's, it's, it's about the yeah. Showtime Lakers, all right? I would have called it Showtime, but they called it something else. But. One person is not happy about it coming out, Who's and that, that person DJ? is Magic Johnson. He's really? <laughs> Magic's not thrilled about it. He ain't get a check for it. No, uh, Magic, oh, Magic is going to be some, some, probably some sex scenes in there that Magic yeah. don't want they people to see. The, uh, They're going to have all the behind the scenes. And I didn't see him yeah. buying no condoms. I see the him kiss, all the, the kiss between him and Isaiah Yeah, Tom they got a love left. scene with him and Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> cold. That shit went left, with none of that shit he talking about. I'm looking. That shit was left, and EJ was born. That ain't got shit to do with me. Niggas had EJ from Isaiah Tom. Don't tell them we can do that. (laughs) It's unfortunate because all it's just gonna remind. It's gonna remind everybody that Magic got AIDS. Is what it is. You know what I'm saying. People don't, people, don't, people don't know he got AIDS. People don't know that. There's, there's people that don't, don't believe he got AIDS. It's like, got it no more. Do we still got it. But I'm saying, there's generations that, that don't Who have no eat clue. Like Magic Johnson. Yeah, he got the old variant. Yeah. <laughs> Who can eat yeah. after Mike? Nigga, I fries. You can have I a fry. I don't want to eat your fries, Magic. He's straight now. He's actually You hungry as fuck. Magic got fries. You want a fry? Do you take it? Keep, Cookie keep all his silverware in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> and look at me. Fresh moves and shit. <laughs> 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 got a vacuum sealer, vacuum sealer, and forks. <laughs> that nigga ate top ramen earlier. <laughs> 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 they only let that nigga drink out of red cups, yeah. nigga. Throw that shit in the trash. If, <laughs> if you was at a, a party with Magic Johnson and he drunk out some shit, like, maybe you should try this. <laughs> I slap it out of his hand. Yeah. That nigga out of That's a bad pass, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad pass. Good. You see my good defense, though? <laughs> the nice but the show, the show is called Winning Times, not Show Times. Oh, Winning Times. It's called Winning Times. You could have played Magic. You could have played Magic. Nah, AC oh. Green. Oh, yeah. AC. AC Green. I see. Yeah. Hey, get you a bird. You'll be AC. Cool. Cooper. I'm going to play Michael Cage. I'm going to play Michael Cage without the curl, nigga. Michael Cage. I got you more like. You nigga can play Leon Spinks. Dennis Rodman. I'll be hanging out with the Lakers and Dad. Dennis Rodman. Hold on. I'll be with the Lakers, man. 
Hey, but it's cold though with Magic because like growing up in L.A., we all know at least two chicks he was still smashing in the nineties and the two thousands. What they should be documented. Hey, they should they should be tagged, nigga, like sharks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man>. That's hilarious. <laughs> ta- but ta- <laughs> it said they should tag him like sharks. <laughs> and he missed that magic here. <laughs> 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 tag him the ear. <laughs> and the phone line. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nigga, don't holler. <laughs> <Like, laughs> <went wrong. laughs> <laughs> Give him a George Michael earring. <laughs> you said Michael uh, Cooper what? Michael Cooper gay, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, Dana, man. Wait, Cooper man. come fire on you. Look, that nigga, so that nigga argue with Lisa <laughs> Leslie. That nigga sound gay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't never heard Michael Cooper argue with Lisa Leslie? Yeah. Fuck y'all. Yeah, I don't watch Sparks. I don't watch Sparks. <laughs> 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 that nigga ain't nowhere near the lake. Pasadena niggas will never disrespect Michael Cooper. Hey, man. <laughs> he a Pasadena nigga. Especially if you hoop. The homie took her virginity. CPT. Who? Nigga, AD. Nigga, he smashed Lisa Leslie. Oh, I believe it. Oh, yeah. In high oh, school, yeah, he, he took her virginity. He said that. I believe it. He, he settled for her. He wanted the 85-year-old. That nigga date Mr. Burns' mama. Nigga, that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was fucking with Mr. Burns' mama on the low, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a high-ass doggy style. Fucking Mr. Leslie's mama. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's Wow. Yeah, you you could only crazy. fuck up. That's that, it. That's how it does. <laughs> for real. You can wow. You can fuck up. You can fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't no. Yeah. That's <laughs> the fuck up. Stand straight. Like Ty can crawl in there if she yeah, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't no clapping sound when you fuck her either because she's skinny. That's yeah. all Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that. The, no. the, cla- the clapping clap. be me, man. Ball slapping her in the belly. Yeah, yeah, that's all right, man. <laughs> but I know the pussy probably fine. At least Leslie probably got it. <laughs> all right, that's all right. You <laughs> 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 go that place. Yeah, yeah, you, you got, got the long, long balls. Not the you? long balls. Uh, what happened? Ty, Ty. Remember what you said. Ty again with his balls. What you hear, Ty? Translate this hetero to homo. Now, listen. This our translator here. No, I'm going over to you, Ty. We're not talking about nobody's abnormal balls out okay, here. Is abnormal it? balls. There we go. <laughs> abnormal balls. Fucking hilarious. Thanks, Ty. Now back to Craig. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> got no, balls from the future. You got a long nigga. dick to fuck Lisa, though. Because <laughs> your sperm going to get tired of that pussy. Is <laughs> Swimming all Cramming right. up and just falling out the pussy. It's too long. Man. I didn't know this was a marathon, bitch. Uh, uh, I didn't to a dash to the uterus, bitch. Uh, 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 we got 28 more miles to go, bitch. <laughs> Spurn, you walk by the first like, nigga, you ain't gonna make it, nigga. I've been here three days. <laughs> Where is the uterus? Go that way. This way. Sperm hitchhiking in that motherfucker. Call an Uber. 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 <laughs> Uber. This is somebody uh, take me to the back of this pussy. Yo. <laughs> 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 <Please>, please. <laughs> Sperm call AAA. <laughs> your pussy's funny. Uh, <laughs> hey, why do you? <laughs> you know her pussy long as a motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, yeah. speaking of long pussies, why do you think Candace Parker switched teams? Like she got yeah. a white yeah, wife. She's always you been on that. bitches. You think she's always been like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's always been on bitches. Because she, she, she was the one straight she one was for cute. a long time that we thought. She always been on oh, bitches. Candace Parker gay? She was oh, yeah. the better Yeah, because she used to be with, uh, with, with, with that auto looking uh, nigga, Sheldon Williams. Oh. Hey, leave my little brother alone. Oh. I leave Sheldon. Leave Sheldon. That nigga like the nigga from the land before time, the little dinosaur. Not the mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. That's the dinosaur. The land before time. Oh, oh. Little foot. Oh, yeah. Nigga, I'm here watching cartoons. Oh yeah, for sure. I was definitely on land before time. What you got for us, Derek? All right, man, let me ask y'all a question. Is there ever a penalty, uh, a punishment that's too severe? For what? Check, check this out. Yes. Electrocution for Jay so Walker. You guys may have heard this story about uh, Rogel Aguilera Menderos. He was a truck driver. You know what I mean? So he lost control of his truck. The brakes went out. Uh, he ended up smacking into 26 cars. It was a 26-car accident. Four of the people died. Mm. They gave him 30, 30 years for each life. So he got 110 years, mm-hmm. but he was a 26 year old kid. You know what I mean? Who had a truck driving? He was Grown truck driving, man. and it wasn't his fault. The brakes actually went out. 
So well, here's the thing, man. It's harsh, but and I think you shouldn't be doing any time. Right. I mean, right. at the end of the day, man, uh, a brake system on a truck is very complicated. Right. Air brakes snap sometimes. Yeah. Um, when you drive trucks, you're you're supposed to do a pre-trip and a post-trip. Every time you get on the truck. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. Pre trip is a hundred point inspection. You're looking at the leaf spring, you're looking at the brakes, you're looking at the brake lines, the glad hand, you're looking at all types of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um Who's looking at that? Are you looking at it or the driver? driver? Okay. You can't just hop in a you can't just yeah. hop in a diesel and go legally. Right, right. You stupid if you do it. You want to check it every right. time you stop, right. you want to check and make sure everything right. Because you're dealing with eighty thousand pounds of weight. And things happen faster with all that weight than they do with a normal car. You know what I'm right. saying? So, right. um, but brakes can't go. Right. And a lot of times when you're driving these trucks, people cut you off thinking you're just a regular, like like you're driving a regular car or something like air brakes. It's a delay in the braking. And then I got to downshift and there's all types of shit I have to do. So I have to see his pre-trip inspection because you do it on a sheet. Right. And I have to know more about it. Right. But yeah. I know he should be doing the 100 points. Good, nah, nah. good news, the they, they, they came out today and they reduced the sentence. Yeah. Yeah. The, t- uh, the, the governor reduced it to 10 years. Okay. That's he shouldn't good. be doing 10. Because yeah. Yeah. people were, yeah. uh, a, a lot accident. of the truckers, they got 4.3 million people to sign a petition. Yeah. And so all the truckers, they stopped going to that state. I believe right. it was Colorado. Colorado. They said, hey, we're not, we yeah. not delivering nothing. Because, yeah. I, I mean, I can, I can only imagine, man. Can y'all imagine that? You, you, you've you been in it before, but a 26-year-old kid, man, yeah. he going to, you know what I mean, doing a career, went through the training, did all that. He's trying to right. change his life, and now right. his life is over. Yeah. Well, 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 I don't well, know why, 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 why you call him a kid. So, why you call him a kid, so though? He's a grown-ass man. He's a grown-ass man. At 26, though, <laughs> yeah. he's starting out. You know what I mean? You just got his trucking career. companies need more liability. They do. But at the end of the day, bro, if if he's working for himself, I get it. But if he's working for a trucking company, they got mechanics. They got mechanic supervisors. They have safety people. Right. There's all of these people who who make more money than the truck driver, and they right. put all these pressure on the drive, all this pressure on the drivers to get loads places and move fast. But they always slip on their job, right. and it was fucked up because as the driver, you're accountable for everything. Right. Like, his supervisor could have been pushing him, saying, man, just go, man. We got to get this load here in, in an hour and a half. You two and a half, you, 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 you know, we need to get it here, or we're going to lose this account. Right. And, and be threatening to fire him and do all kind of shit if he don't get the load there. And then he get there and fall asleep at the wheel, and he the one that got to do the jail time. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's a so fucked up industry, man. Right? threw that nigga under the bus. Yeah. 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 Well, the state that he truck. was in, too, they have some special laws based on uh, extreme uh, violent things that happened. So violent crimes, which they considered that, you know, him crashing at, you know, yeah. into those people like that. So they gave him, I think it's like, a, I don't know, 10 years or 20 years extra for each one of those, you yeah. know what I mean, on top of what they got to give him. Yeah, but they, they don't give the death penalty. That's in Colorado, they can't give the death penalty, which is what they were trying to give him. Uh-huh. But because they don't give the penalty no more, they gave him the maximum sentence of what he could have gotten. Yeah. So this white boy years. kills, walks into a church, and how many people did he kill? Right. Nine? What, right. What, what, what nine people? Did he kill? I, I don't know how many people that dude. Nine oh, oh and, the, and the, the, the truck dude only killed four. I don't know right. how many people to do the church kill. No, it ain't been to trial yet, have you? He's they still waiting, do. waiting right. for. They uh, they do the appeal thing. He got a, he got a white lawyer, so they gonna make that shit a stretch and Man. try to keep him alive as long as they can. Right, he right. Gonna yeah. Face trial till he in his thirties. You know what I'm saying? They he be on death row that long. You gotta watch the system. I got a boy that was accused of rape in Orange County. He didn't do it. Not even close to it. These, you know, some of these white chicks are smacking nigga, and when they people find out, they start hollering rape. Yeah, right. he did time over over it. He didn't do it, and he finally got let go and found not guilty. But in the process of it, he was se- seventeen and a half when he went in. They kept trying to push his trial back to after he turned eighteen, so they could try him as an adult. Damn. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? The system Damn. always do slick shit like that. You really gotta watch. What's going on when you go to prison? Because they want to keep you in that motherfucker. I did the same thing with my brother. Big you know business. I mean? They waited for him for two years, and then they tried him as an adult. You know what I mean? And that's my whole thing. Like, the average lifetime for a, a, a man is about, what, 78 years? Uh, like, 78, 79 <coughs> years is a lifetime. 
Right. That's average. He's though. 26, and they gave him one pin on top of the 26. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like, crazy. You know what I mean? That's it's way more than the average it's lifetime. It's so no I'm saying different than a medical bill you would get when you ain't got insurance. $26,000. Right. Yeah, they All you gave me was some Robitussin. Man. <laughs> they get you. And a Band-Aid. It's inflated numbers. And y'all man. told me I needed x-rays. I said I had a cold. It's imaginary <laughs> numbers, man. Yeah, they get you. What, 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 what you got for us, Blaze? Uh, Dr. Dre wife, man, Nicole yeah. Young, man. Mm. We got to talk about her. You yeah. know? Nicole Young, a.k.a. I, I, Nicole Threat. Yeah, Hell right. yeah. Damn. I mean, Cold I can piece. appreciate wifely duties. I appreciate a woman who hold a man down and blah, yes. blah, blah. But he was rich long before her, long bread. She didn't, you know. Man, that's, you seen the movie, and you know that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Anyway, she got a hundred million out the deal, plus wow. you know Rolls Royce, Range Rover, wow. uh, motorcycle, and a few other gadgets and gifts. She can drive a motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah motorcycle. Them she, death row right. <laughs> in the, <laughs> the Malibu house. The mo- <laughs> yeah, the Malibu house. Yeah. So, so what y'all think about that? What y'all think about? He mm-hmm. worth? What, I think they say he worth about eight hundred and twenty million. So for her to get, you know, he got a deal. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, eighth of, of what he was. She was trying to get half. Yeah, half right. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think Dr. Dre had a uh, prenup, did he? No, he no. did. Yeah, but he did. what happened okay. was he got caught up in some emotional tangle with her and, and told him he tore, you know, tore it up. But he I had a copy. Up. Yeah. How you do? Yeah, 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 I'll tear yeah, it up. Yeah. I'll tear it up. They don't leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't need this. This is just paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love you. Yeah, <laughs> but had another copy. Roast some marshmallows. Let me see that paper. They were trying to get rid of that paper. It's cold outside. Let's throw some marshmallows, baby. Yeah, this going to make our love. Yeah. This ain't shit. Yeah. Feed I mean, it to the dog, man. I mean, I think she won. She's was already winning. Dre's good. She sh- she was already good. She upgraded from Sedell 3 to Dr. Dre. What was she what doing? Fuck was she Sedell 3? Was, that was, yeah. Sedell 3? Yeah. How did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> you were looking through the window? That nigga, that nigga Sedell 3 sons. Sedell 3. Everybody Sedell 3 sons. I don't watch 3. We was like, I don't watch 3. I ain't no regular... Uh, Nah, Most of who fans don't know who the fuck Sedell 3 is. Sedell actually went to my right, college, West Virginia Tech. Oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. it. I he, he was a cold yeah. hooper. Two steps to the right, jump shot. <laughs> That's cold. I didn't know that, though. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, but, I mean, she winning. Like, she, sometimes you ain't got to be greedy, bro. You don't have to try to break somebody and deserve half. Right. Take That's a blessing. Keep it moving. Yeah, keep right. it moving. You got a, you got a fabulous Malibu house. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Let Dre do And he get to keep the house that he bought off Tom Brady. Yeah, you know, it's all good because she tried to go for half, but she served the nigga at his grandmama's funeral. Yeah, that's cold. So that's she deserved shady. to get way less yeah. than she wanted just because yeah. of that. Right. And that nigga just come, coming out of, you know what I'm saying, a brain aneurysm shit almost losing his life. Man, keep I mean, your he head up, Dre. Yeah, yeah Dre. Yeah, Dre. Hub yeah, City, Dre. nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, he, he did man. almost die. Because they could have been, been stuck in court for many, many months, and all these lawyers just uh, depleting his wealth off some BS, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Right, Cause he gotta pay. He gotta pay her lawyer right? fees. Yeah, his yeah. Lawyer fees. City, nigga. Hey, we're gonna we gonna go to Cooper. a uh, commercial break. When we get back, more Craig facts. More auto yeah. boots. Yeah, no. Craig facts. Yeah. Craig facts. Auto boots. Craig yeah. Auto boots. In your mouth. Auto boots. In your mouth. Auto boots. In your mouth. Auto boots. Pick them up. In your mouth. Auto boots. Yeah, you gotta get those. In your mouth. Boots. They're real cheap, y'all. In your mouth. Oh, boots. Walk in them. In your mouth. Oh, boots. When they walk with them. Let them. In your mouth. Oh, boots. Genuine leather. In your mouth. Oh, boots. You, you can stay with roaches in your mouth. Genuine leather. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. New auto boots coming out. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In your mouth. Get a flipper on the side. In Of the year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Mike, listen. And much success. And much success. Dunk, what you got for us? Man. You know what I'm saying? My guy, Jay Z. Jigger. And Ho. Ho. You know Ho. Yeah. To the Izzo. To the Izzo. Ho say, (laughs) and the verses don't nobody want none. He say, the only person that can stand next to him is probably God himself. Oh, mm. stop it, Jay. Oh, Hov saying he can't be touched. But stop I it. think it's a couple cats out there that'll get out. 
Who you got? Talk think, about it. I think you said get hove or, or just or, or match up evenly with. Nah, I didn't get, get him. Get him. Mm, yeah, no. hope Drake get, get him. Drake, he have a problem with Drake. Drake, yeah, that's, that's killing hoe. Drake, that's, that's, yeah. that's, they have a problem with Drake. Got, Drake got more hits. Drake, yeah, that's yep, too. For they sure. have a problem with him. The internet, the internet, the internet, internet, more. The internet yeah, even more. That's two different Drake, worlds. Yeah, Drake, Drake, Drake is killing Jay Z in the verse. Yeah. I don't think he's killing him. I, I don't. No way. That's like Kobe to Jordan. How many hits this man got, bro? He do. How many years? Of platinum of material that has been, you know what I mean? How many? Yeah. How many? Come on, Jay Z. It's only twenty exactly. songs versus twenty songs. Right. right. That many. I'm saying, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, the, Jay Z ain't got that the many. Features that that nigga's on. You know what I mean? You got to count them too. I think I don't think nobody's washing Jay. Drake got bangers. Drake got a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about. He got twenty. He got twenty, he got 20 league, Billboard though, top, yeah, top, Drake top. Young young Kobe. It ain't never been a rapper on Drake level, bro. Right. right. That's, I, I can yeah. get with that. Tupac don't have enough hits. Drake would watch Drake. I mean, Drake would watch Pac. I don't know about why. Yeah, I'm going to watch. We don't know why. Jay Z either. Though. No, Jay Z would watch Pac. Pac don't have enough music. No, he no, no, he what? No, we no, no. Yeah, what's going on? What do you mean? He ain't got enough music. Nigga, he don't have enough music. Nigga, he only got to do is play the first side of All Eyes on Me. Just play this one. All that shit ain't dope. Let's stop. I love Pac, but all that shit ain't dope. I pull up the track list. All that shit was dope. I got two sleepers. What about E Forty and E Forty and Buster? E forty uh, for no. show. Buster Rhymes. No. Rhymes no. Be I got E forty. I think E forty. Doctor Dre. E forty. I got forty. No. Yeah, Dr. Got Dre got has like and Dre no. forty years. Ain't nobody hits. banging Holy Grail in the car, right. so y'all need to. Cut no one's banging Holy, Holy Grail, Grail exactly. <laughs> so. Nobody's. People people stop playing four 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 like two months later. Yeah. Same thing with Magna Carta. But the times change, real. What we said, it wasn't always about. So it ain't timeless. No, in our era, in our era, it wasn't about hits. We weren't, we weren't talking right. about The best hits. music was never a Jay-Z hit. Jay-Z made something to me as when, a rapper, when, right. but these young niggas don't give a fuck about Jigga. Yeah. Right. Saying, even, yeah. it's, even it's 20, though, because we're going to do presidents and all that shit. That's yeah. what I think. The, I think the the verses, H to the Izzo. The verses, the verses, yeah, H to the Izzo ain't. It got to be somebody from his era. But I'm with you. But snap, my, my issue with Jay, my issue with Jay doing all that stuff, Snaps, is that ain't music. L, 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 like uh, L ain't music. No, no, I'm saying, saying I'm <laughs> I'm above hey, the verses. That yeah. ain't music. That's whack. Because one, that's whack. Because yep. one thing about but the you don't have no hits. So but my thing about is, about <laughs> 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 Let me talk about the nigga got Duan. Duan got some shit in Japan that's platinum. You know, I do got some shit in France that's snapping right now. Duan, Duan gonna play that us in France in 2006. Duan gonna play that Sweet Potato Pie album in France. It was it was a Euro beat. This same studio we was practicing that shit all in the studio back in 06. But my thing is, uh, but that's just not music to say you above a versus. Right. Yeah. Exactly. When it comes yeah. to when it comes to black music, our music has always been about competition. I mean, when you came to New York in the 1930s, mm. if you was a band, you had to go to the Savoy and fuck this with Chick Red. Ninety one years. Right. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. It's gang rapper Skip, came out since then. Skipped <laughs> over the niggas five <laughs> yeah. years ago. Yeah. Martin Luther King. Well, Martin, Martin Luther King was in junior high in 1930. <laughs> right. That nigga wasn't born. That nigga born. Yeah, I was born in 1919. Rap, no, no, no. Martin Luther King was born in 1919. You said 1930. No, he was born in 1919. Right. 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 Ask the one. But anyway, go. <laughs> Black music has always had ver- these, these battle raps. We've always had competition, yeah, yeah. and it's always been the competition that decided who put whether you were jazz, hip hop, funk. It battled the bands. That shit's always existed in our music. Jay Z so said to say, that. To say you better scared. than battling somebody. I don't respect that. Yeah, he's scared. Jay Z's scared. No, That's why he said it. Jay Z ain't scared. He's scared. You gotta, you gotta think I'm about saying, this. Line it up. I'm just saying I don't respect I'm that. I'm saying, I'm I like how you talk about Jay Z. That's Me, my nigga, you, man. I'm with you. I'm scared. Jay No, scared. but I feel like I know him. <laughs> That's my nigga, man. What you saying? What did he get you for Christmas? I'm going to agree with Dewan on that because it is competition because you got to think about it. Nigga, Earth went in fire, and Izzy brothers went against each other. And they ain't nothing to Shaka Khan. Hey. Uh, hold on. Who but Izzy, you Vanessa, know what Izzy uh, said? Uh, Stephanie Mills. Stacey Lattisaw. Stephanie Mills. Who Stephanie is Shirley Mills. Caesar going to battle? <laughs> Yolanda <laughs> Adams. That's what Yolanda I want to know. Yolanda Adams. <laughs> Set it up. Set it up. I want to see BB bottom two. BB versus CC. Yolanda used to be a prostitute, right? One of them used to be a prostitute. Where was the book? I don't know. Where was the book? One of them used to be a prostitute. 
<laughs> Donnie McCarthy used Depending to be on gay. which one, who had the more nigga, fire? So was Daryl Coley. Daryl Coley was a fucking bad. Adam did not sell pussy. And Donnie McCarthy still gay. You can't be gay and not be gay no more. One of them gospel women take back a prostitute before she. That was her testimony. I don't know. Yeah. You gotta identify who the she beans, is. The beans, peas, lady, uh, Wait, potatoes, yams, yeah, lady. Man, pull yeah. out Henry's book, yeah. man. You got to Google Yolanda <laughs> Adams' Henry's prostitution. Henry's Henry's book. Yolanda Adams. I'm gonna adopt that as the last name. It plays Henry, man. Yolanda Adams. You want to know what your name is? Bring it to me. Hey, Yolanda Adams. Hey, listen. What else you got for us, Doc? We ain't saying it. Ain't Yolanda Adams selling pussy? I think it's pretty good at that, though. She's gonna be good. I think Yolanda used. Pussy. I'm telling you. Is it not cool to cheer them on if they were doing that? Like, I'm not being. Like I said it was fire. It was fire, right? I've heard her testimony. But that's not most people that's in church now. Heavy is a former scumbag. Yeah, like so. Definitely. You know, you're not a scumbag because you sell pussy. You're no, no, you right. Your business I, I, I resent that. <laughs> 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 I'm the scumbag. I'm going to go one deeper. She's just doing her job. I'm going to go one deeper. You're not even a scumbag if you buy pussy. You're a scumbag if you negotiate a price. Or if you steal some pussy. That's what I'm saying. I'm the high guy. You can't take $10 off that? Right. Come on now. A little bit. I'm light skin. All right, my second. Let's take that back. My second shit is some messy shit. You, know you don't even saying? need your hand. Uh, Wack 100 and uh, what's that nigga name? Shorty Glock. Uh. Working on, uh, on uh, what's that shit called? Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Here's the thing. I know you with Charleston White. Don't, 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 don't sock me. Yeah. Okay, we both know the street shit is over, right? It's a, it's a wrap. I think 40 Glock may have had a point. Nah. No, no, look at check this out. If I'm doing business with you mm-hmm. and the business don't go, go right, and you owe me, if I'm a street nigga, I can sue you. That ain't snitching. No. That not. ain't got shit to do with street code, street not moral. And then on top of That'd this, the, right. the whole thing with Jason, when he sued the game, who was dope ass, much respect to the game, the game is the one that made it goofy filming it. If you right. film yourself whooping on me as a street nigga and you devalue my brand, I can sue you and not be considered a snitch. You're taking a, a shot at my financial right. success by yeah. trying to ruin yeah. my yeah. reputation. Yeah. Okay. Right. I thought about then, that too. And then you right. try and then you and now you're trying to make street rules apply. If this was a real street situation, you, you wouldn't be, be putting in work with no camera, no camera in your right. motherfucking no face. Wow. You get whooped for that. Right. 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 We don't fuck with the camera shit. I like that. I like that. Now this is why he was full. He was full of shit. <laughs> I'm just about 40 Glock. Yeah, yeah, this so what, 40 Glock. What happened, bro? Tell the whole 40 Glock was was the nigga who also put his cell phone camera. I don't know if it was Spider or one of the, one of the niggas pressing Lil Wayne. It was supposedly pressing Lil Wayne. Right, Lil no, Wayne. He was, was in the limo or whatever on the block. Oh yeah, like I had, forgot about that. Yeah. So he, yeah. he had them film that shit, and oh. he, he put that out. He had an album. That's how he was trying okay. to show, like, look, look, yeah. look, G Unit. I'm a nigga that's that's viable. You can put some money behind me. Mm. So. Oh. I was first. Second of all, he wanted he he wanted to catch the fade. Game didn't f- film that shit. The nigga that that was filming the shit was the homie. They had they that's why they don't show the first part of it. Them niggas getting down because they locked up. Boom boom boom. Game I was, the nigga I was out. at that party. Well, you they when they was running the nigga down the hill. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I know that house you talking about. So when they running the nigga down the hill, that's when the nigga game started. Nigga pull out. His, you know, all right, let me film this nigga. Cause this nigga the nigga that 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 said, I'm a I'm a cold and crip. I'm gang gangsters, gangster this, gangster that. So when you talking that shit, you have to live that shit. Yeah. Now you go to court, you ain't no. And it says in the paper, he's like, I'm not no crip. I don't gang bang at all. Yeah. Right. That's what he went to court to say. So gangsters don't handle shit like that. When it's a fair one and you get beat up in a fair one, you don't sue the nigga. But you don't feel me either, yeah. though. And yeah, then that no, part, but that's but I can take him squabbling. Now I'm gonna nah, kill you. Yeah, yeah, and but the, see, he, and, and I will, I'm with that. I'm with yeah. that. Go there, kill it, nigga. Do some gangster shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we said. Civil court. Yeah. What's the nah, that's not gangster. I expected that's not gangster. all that because even when he came in the party with gang, he dude dude was already ready to get up out of there already. So it's like Craig was saying earlier. Like if you in a mentality of space or somewhere that I'm not, you know, the balance is off somewhere. You want to fight? You want? You know, if a motherfucker talking shit back and rah-rahing up, then we can do it. But as soon as you start squirming and running and all that, 
I'm supposed to sober up and know what it is then. So, you know, that's the only thing. It was up. It was up. It was up, Blaze. (laughs) (laughs) It's up. It's up, Blaze. Ain't nothing you can do about that. They don't calm down. I'm just saying, like, it's just like, (laughs) if a nigga put his, I can see if, like, and this is, and we know the game to be a troll. He does go and talk to shit to nigga. This is one situation where he wasn't really saying nothing to this nigga because there really wasn't no Lee's way of talking about this nigga. You know what I'm saying? He got into some shit that that, that happened with this. Yeah, that wasn't none of his business with Spider Love. Right. And I'm a distant nigga too. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, that you're right. I agree. Hard, but then man. all he asked was, this is what I like what White asked him. Well, nigga, did you sit on the stand under oath and point out the nigga that attacked you? Oh my goodness. That's fucking snitching. That's snitching. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. Or oh, anything else. <laughs> I, I, I agree with lie. you with filming the nigga, yeah. his brand and all that shit, because it fucked up his whole career. Right. After he got bands put on him, I don't want to hear another Asaki verse. I don't uh, a lot of people. A <laughs> lot he almost of got it. One more time. He almost got himself in trouble with uh, Big Big Draw's nephew, my niece, uh, uh, Kita, talking shit to her. Really? Talk, calling her a bitch and talking about he knocked bitches out all the time. Whoa. Shit. Even though she did say she knocked the nigga out with a, with a bottle tied to the head. Damn. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that happened or not. I wasn't there. I don't, I'm saying that's not none of my business. That's crip business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying that, but he he, and he almost got into it with the whole 60s over there. He was on the phone. Corrupt was like, you did what? Yeah. Oh, you got to apologize. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, you can't do That's big draws, niece, nigga. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, Whoa. you better stay away from that. <laughs> he was like, what yeah. if he would have yeah. told draws then what? It'd have been over My for goodness. you. Hey, uh, yeah. what you got for us, Otto? Oh, so, um, Dewan, I got this great idea. Great idea, this billion dollar idea. I got uh, where you can Hard to say. feel good being fat and exercising at the same time. <laughs> Straight out. I don't like the way this is going. I don't like the way this is going. I don't like exercise Straight out. No, no, be 50, you ugly ass. ass. Got that no, story. No. I'll take that out. all day over this nigga. No, so there's a story in, in China. In China, McDonald's has, uh, they have uh, treadmills at McDonald's now. Oh. So you can sit at McDonald's and eat your food, plug up your phone to the, to the, to the seat treadmill and charge your phone. Oh, so you can fire. eat your Big Mac, mm. gain calories, and burn calories at the same damn time. Yeah. That's the dumbest shit ever. Productive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, what kind of shit is that? We won't make a lot of money if we brought that to the stage? That's no? like you going to a tanning salon, nigga. They ain't <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And we can get funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't finish this burger in three minutes, but you got you to sit on this seat for six hours <laughs> you know I mean? for it to be a wash. <laughs> How long do it take you to eat mean, your meal, it, You may not be losing weight, but does it mean in your mind you feel good that you came to McDonald's and you ate that, that two, uh, two uh, all beef patties with sauce and cheese. That's the Lizzo syndrome, man. We don't want to make, make no so, healthy right. shit. So why is the one, the rise is directed at the yeah, one? Right. <laughs> and why are they making Big Macs in China? Talk about that. Yeah. Where the orange chicken at? I mean, we can all pitch No, 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 no. no. It's a billion dollar deal. They should have been making orange chicken sandwiches out there. The one, the type of big nigga, he don't eat McDonald's. That nigga will fry some shit up at the crib. He didn't eat a meal at the house type big nigga. You don't know where. Big nigga that like being a big nigga, yeah. right. not an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> he said you ugly. You, you gotta address that. Yeah, he he gotta, <laughs> he called you uh, and swap me studs out your ears, nigga. <laughs> 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 Those are them. Those are them temporary <laughs> earrings when you get your first <laughs> piercing. Those are them first oh, piercing the earrings. <laughs> Let him get it off. I'm trying to be serious. Y'all want the bag? Y'all <laughs> get it off. <laughs> Why would you, you, you want? Why would you want to exercise if you feel good about being fat? Yeah. If I feel good, if, if I feel good about being fat, why the fuck would so I want to exercise? Yeah, that's why. I, yeah. What's more? Yeah. Well, I feel, feel good, good about, about being no, fat. No, because you did something today. You rode the bike for. Well, I could do something else, like play video games or something. That's I ain't got to exercise. Yeah, two, yeah. Yeah. If I feel good about being fat, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to exercise a little right. bit to feel did, good about being fat. Did you ever find <laughs> did you ever find the golden child? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga like a... He uh, got that uh, golden child hat. Nigga. <laughs> 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 I you know got the knife. Yeah, we know you want it tonight. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Y'all can y'all continue to be fat and keep getting. I'm just saying, calories. if you do it, I'll make all the money myself. It's all good. I ain't tripping. I'll eat myself. Fuck all y'all. 
Where I'll make you pay for it. Eat yourself. You eat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Todd, I'll translate eat. that for me. Cut a finger <laughs> off and put it in soup. Jacking off, I eat my. He tried to eat his own coochie. I don't bust. I don't bust. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm cool being myself. They can pretend. They all can pretend to be something else. Anytime you know niggas say you cool being yourself, I'm being myself. They can pretend being something else. Okay. That's 2021. Nobody else eat me. I eat me. And he might start slinging bean pies. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. My nigga, whole tip CDC over there. <laughs> hey, man, that's been uh, another episode of the greatest podcast in the history of podcasts. You know it, you know it. See it. Y'all follow. Appreciate y'all supporting us through these tribulations that we've been going through with YouTube. We're slowly moving everything to Patreon. So we still gonna do the live show as long as YouTube messes with it, but met us, messes with us, but they've been messing with the <laughs> notifications and mm -hmm. it's been rough on us. So support <laughs> us. Get us to a point where we're making some real money. Hell yeah, when man. You come to your city, pay to see us. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Something, get it from God. God, God, God. God. Yeah. This episode you of motherfuckers. <laughs> We out there, man. Shout out to the I'm out there nation. Yeah. What you what you what you what you say?